This is Talk Back Soon. To the right of you is a is a small hidden wheel door by me. It's actually not the smallest, but but if this is a one ride design. It's it's eight by eleven by one, which equals an eighty eight block volume. This is first one wide wheel door that I know of, and um, if it isn't, it doesn't have an ugly sticky piston right here, because normal ones have that, and I don't like that. This design is also f I have another design. It's slightly smaller. This one designs eighty. Bl That's wrong. I should say eighty. I should say eighty blocks. My old um my old design, which is down there, is seventy two. Now, but this design is faster, it's button operated, as in I don't have like some kind of toggle machine, you can use stolen button or wooden button, and uh, yeah. So, generally speaking, this, is, uh, this design is not as compact, but it's kind of a proof of concept that this, this can be made one wide, and um, that, and it's a little faster. Uh, it's only slightly bigger, which is why you should choose this design, so my old design, which is down there. Okay, so here's the actual wiring. It's pretty small, as you can see. Um, this is all the wiring needed. And yeah, this can also be used by uh, 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 all wooden button. So this is a very useful design. And yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the tutorial. For the steep piston right here, I'm going to start off with the piston layout. Okay, get a slab. Now, at the end, I will show you how to expand it. It's not normal of how to expand it. This can be expanded up to 13 wide. That is expanded up to 13 wide, by the way. So, put a rail right here. Also, another thing about the store is that um, rails, in, in this direction, it turns like that. But in this direction, it turns like this. So, that means that you have to have a rail right here so that you direct so that you can go through like this. Okay. Okay. So, Anyway, I'm going to start off. This is also sure that it works in both orientations, this way and that way. Let's just sit. Oops, come on. Closes. And opens. I think this one you said is two ticks, I believe? Two, I believe it's a little faster than that. Yeah, it is a little faster. Two ticks, three ticks. Because of how it is set up. Okay, so let's begin with the tutorial. Right here, you want to place a double extender like so. And put a redstone right here. Get a button. It doesn't matter if it's one or stone because there is a difference. A stone button stays on for 10 ticks. You flick it. Uh, and a wooden button stays on for 15 ticks. So basically, this sets up the whole thing where this, when this button is pressed, this stays down, and the reel pops out. Then the seeds then go back down, and this goes back up. So that, so that is why this button is really useful. Put a redstone there to keep us in with the bottom top. Repeater going into a redstone, which will, which will uh, lead up like this. Let me get a slab. Okay, so. Uh, from there, from there on, you want to put a slab right here. The redstone on top. Right here, you want to put a repeater. Set to three ticks. Okay. Then right here, we want to put a redstone right here. After it, of course, and a slab right here. The redstone on top. Right here, you want to place blocks like so. Redstone, repeater, repeater, redstone. All set the defaultly. I'm going to start building my wall up a little. Okay, so this should be um, the whole extension done like this. Now all I have to do is get the final attraction because um, I'll just demonstrate Tina. Yeah. Okay, so we have to make a final extension right here. That looks pretty cool. I don't know what happens if we did it. <laughs> it actually broke. Hmm. Okay. Now, next up. Uh, you want to put a redstone right here. Then you build up one more like so, and a redstone right here. Now, right here, you want to put a redstone right here. If you're gonna only make this one wide, which I don't recommend, just put a block like this and a repeater right here. If you want to expand this more than one, put a redstone right here. Four tick repeater right here. One uh. 
two tick repeater, three tick repeater, like so. And I center this wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, whoops. I was centering this wrong. But it's not here. Three ticks. And two ticks. Oops. Two ticks, like so. Sticky piston and redstone block on top. Now this should be your entire uh, thing done. Click it, closes, and when you flip it again, opens. Okay, so you don't actually copy this entire design and uh, paste it and like and just like pay completely paste it over and over again because this is I the me reason why I did a tutorial for this is because this needs to be built in survival. So, that's why I make this a little resource light. Okay? So, right here, um, right here, I put, to expand it, I'm going to expand it by one. Put a sticky piston right here. Block right here. Block. Blocks, like so. Put redstone here. Torch there. Um, slab. Uh, Powered rail, sticky pistons. Except you just want to place two redstone like so, and that's when you're done expanding. Okay, so flip but oh that was strange. Oh yeah yeah. Um, oops, I forgot to add. Put a block right here. It's on three ticks. There, oh, close this up. Sticky piston. Two things like so. And something like this. Okay. So, um, let's, do it. let's stress it again. Loads this and opens. Okay, folks. Uh, this has been. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like it. If you like it, then please subscribe. But anyway, folks, that's all. This has been the Knockback X, and um, I am.